Hey everybody, this is Kennedy from Hill Country Weavers, and I'm going to show you guys how to place a pickup stick if you are going to work a pickup pattern um, like the one that we did in our yarn call design this year. So um, basically what you're going to need, you're going to need a pickup stick, and uh, it's a very helpful, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do this, but it's very helpful if you have either a second one or if you have a spare um, stick shuttle that you can use for this. It'll just help you see what you're doing. So uh, all a pickup stick is, is it's a long um, flat wooden stick. It's usually pointed on one or both sides um, to help you lift certain threads. So that's going to allow you to do some different patterning than you would uh, just with the two sheds that you have on the rigid huddle loop. So in order to place a pickup stick, what you need to do is you need to start, um, your heddle needs to be in the down shed. So wherever the down position is, you want to put your heddle there. So always remember that it's the most important thing. You can't put a pickup stick in unless you're in the down shed. So I'm working on a Cricut loom, and this one is a little bit narrow. It doesn't have a real deep back. So it's easier on these looms to place the stick um, through the pickup in the front and then transfer it to the back. Uh, but if you're on a flip loom or one of the other deeper rigid huddles, you may just want to start by placing it uh, in the back side of the loom. So try both and see which one is more comfortable for you. So I'm going to start. I have my shed open and I'm actually going to place my second pickup stick or my stair um, stick shuttle just into uh, the shed that's open here so that I can see really clearly what the top threads are as opposed to the bottom ones. If you don't have a spare stick shuttle and you don't have a spare pickup stick, you can also just use a piece of paper, um, just anything that's going to visually lift uh, those threads from the bottom once you can see which ones you're working on. So the other thing you'll need to know is what your pickup pattern is. And usually um, on the pattern, it's gonna say something about how to place the stick. It'll say something like two up, two down, or um, one up, three down. Um, and it'll have some kind of repeat that you're supposed to go across. So for instance, on this one that I'm working with, it's telling me that I wanna go um, over two threads, under two threads, and go all the way across that way. And the threads that it's talking about are the ones that are above, uh, uh, basically that are gonna be up on the down shed, the ones that are above our spare stick, or our piece of paper, or our stick shuttle. So I'm gonna start with my working pickup stick, and what I want to do here is it's it's wanting me to go um, over two threads, so I'm going to push these two threads down. I'm going to go under two threads, so I'm going to push these two up. And I'm going to repeat that over the width of the piece. So I'm going to push two down, push two up, push two down, push two up, two down, two up, two down, two up, two down, two up. So you can do this all the way across. Um, it, depending on how wide your loom is, this may take you a while. If it's not super wide, it should go pretty quickly. Um, and uh, it'll depend a little bit too on how easy it is to see. So that's why we wanna have this down here. So you can really see which threads are uh, being effective. So I have that all the way across. You can see there's two threads lifted and two threads that are down throughout each one. So I'm gonna take out my extra pickup stick now and I'm going to transfer this to the back of the loom because in order for this to do anything, this stick and these threads need to be on the back side. So what we want to do is we want to take our heddle now and we want to place it in neutral, right like this. I'm going to bring this loom forward so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've put the heddle in neutral and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pickup stick and I'm going to slide it against the heddle and you can see it's lifting just those threads that it's picked up and I'm going to take my second pickup stick or um, that spare stick shuttle and I'm going to put it right back here. So again, I'm now transferring basically that uh, to the back side of the loom. And now this one can come out and you're free to weave. So when you're using a pickup stick, it's always going to replace a down shed. Because you remember we put the stick in on the down shed? So as I'm weaving, I will work the pattern. It'll say something like uh, down shed, up shed, pick up stick. Um, and then you'll do some repeat of those. 
So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to work um, a regular down shed, which I've actually just completed, and then we're going to do an up plus a pattern stick. So there's two ways that you can use a pattern stick. One of them is it will be just a plain up shed um, like this. So here's our plain up shed, just the regular one. Or you can use an up with a pattern stick. And when it says up with pattern stick, what it wants you to do is actually bring that stick shuttle. It's laying still laying flat, so it's horizontal. Um, make sure you guys can see that. It is horizontal. Um, or you can have the pedal in neutral, the pedal's in neutral, and then you can lift just the picked up threads. So let's give me a little bit of better position for you guys to see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so my pattern is, I'm going to push this one when it's not in use, you want to just push it to the back of the loom. So my pattern is down shed. And then we're going to do an up shed with the pickup stick. You can see that's pulled forward staying flat. Pass this through. Anyway. And you're going to push the pickup stick back to the back of the loom and pull forward. So then we're going to go into our down shed. One thing you want to watch for is a lot of times if I go into the down shed and I go straight back through, I'm actually not going to catch this outermost thread. So what I want to make sure that I'm doing is I want to wrap around the out, outermost thread. So I'm going to actually push just this one outermost thread down and then go all the way back through. There's my down shed. This, and we'll be back. And we're going to do an up pedal. So, regular up shed. And then we're going to go into the neutral shed. So, this is going to replace our down shed. So, into neutral. And instead of just pulling flat against here, I'm going to turn it on its side. So you can see it's vertical now, right up against the back of the loom, and that's lifting just those picked up threads. So we're going to move back again. Again, pedal flat and towards the back of the loom. Bring this one forward to the beat. And then we're going to do an up shot. So that's our pattern repeat. Um, I'm going to watch those outermost threads to make sure you're not pulling them out of place. And you can start to see the pattern forming. So we'll do that repeat one more time. We're going to start the down shed. We're going to go into an up shed with the pattern stick, which is just pulled forward, it's not turned on its side. Push 
to the back of the loom when it's not in use. Do like normal. We're going to go into the down. And again, we need to make sure we go over that outermost thread so we can catch it. We're going to go uh, into the up paddle. And then we're going to go into the neutral shed. And we're going to bring the pickup stick forward and turn it on its side. go into the up shed one more time. All right, you can start to see we're getting this little grid forming right here. And that's our waffle weave. So um, the other thing you may want to know, if you have a deeper loom, you can just place So if you have a deeper loom, you may just want to place this at the back of the loom. Again, it's really helpful if you have either a spare pickup stick or a spare stick shuttle, um, something to place in there so you can see which threads you're going to be um, working with. So just like before, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be pushing two down, two up, two down. So it's the exact same thing. You don't need to transfer it if you work this way, but um, if you do have a shallow loom, it's a little easier to work from the front and then transfer to the back so you can make the decision which one you like better. <laughs> 